Well, now to the tragic death of a UB student from a suspected hazing incident. Tonight, we are learning new information about the freshman who passed away after spending days in critical condition at the hospital. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller. This is the first photo we're seeing of 18-year-old Sebastian Serafin Bazan. The UB freshman died yesterday after a suspected hazing incident at the Sigma Pi frat house off campus last week. While the UB community grieves the UB spectrum, a student-run newspaper spoke with Sebastian's roommate, who described his friend as a quiet and dedicated student. His roommate saying Sebastian had goals written in black and white for all to see. A post-it note above his desk reading GPA goal 4.0. Again, you never think you're going to go through this and then to have a, a possible hazing in your own hometown, you be I mean, in your backyard, it's it's shocking. News of the suspected hazing, a tragic reminder for the parents of Nolan Birch, the Canisius High School grad who died in 2014 during a hazing incident at West Virginia University. You just live with this weight that you realize you're going to have forever. A source tells me police are looking at the possibility Seraphin Bazan may have been ordered to perform extreme amounts of exercise inside the home. Neighbors on Custer Street tell 7 Eyewitness News they saw teenagers running from the frat house after carrying Seraphin Bazan's unconscious body outside and leaving him on the front lawn. When they're together like that, it's like a gang type of mentality. One goes, the other ones are like, well, I'm not going to be the one to stay here. And then unfortunately, you have uh, a kid who's lying in the middle of the lawn that needs some serious help. I spoke with the attorney today who represented the Birch family in their civil lawsuit. He says in the case of Nolan Birch, social media posts and video was key evidence in figuring out what happened. Buffalo police are still investigating this case. Live in the studio tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.